hope the lighting isn't too bad. Mm. Okay, hello, my name is Vaishnavi Kumari and I've finished my second year studying economics at UCL. So quickly, I want to apologize for not uploading a video sooner because it's been due to various reasons such as not doing well in an exam that I thought I would do amazing in so that demotivated me for like a while interviews I was ill for some time and like I went abroad yep they probably do sound like excuses so whatever but rest assured I will be uploading videos much more regularly from this point onwards so yep and i quickly want to say to the people who've requested certain videos i haven't forgotten about them i will be doing them as soon as i can either i may not be able to do them because maybe the campus is closed for the summer or i'm just gonna be quite busy because i've got a summer internship but i will talk about that in another video mm, i was smiling so much i should be scared i am scared okay for the internship okay so as you can probably tell from the title, I'm going to show you exactly what I studied in my core compulsory modules for economics in my first and second year. In your third year, you don't really have compulsory modules that everyone has to do. You can choose your modules. I thought, you know, it's much more useful than just hearing about what's in the modules or reading on the website what's in the modules. You can actually see literally what, what we did. So what I'm going to show you in order is um, lecture slides, tutorial questions and exam questions. That's like a mixture of what we had to do basically. So you can see everything that we did. <sighs> okay, so these are gonna be the modules that I did in my first year. This is the live lecture slides. This follows on from what we did in the asynchronous work, which was basically looking at the textbook and reading and making notes from that. So obviously we go through some models and our lecturer I had her again in my second year and she's really good. Uh, she has a lot of data and she analyzes things um, alongside with um, the models, theoretical models. And it's very interactive as well because you go on like mentee. I mean it depends on which lecture you get and how they like to hold their lectures and then now this is like an assignment we get so you, we get an assignment and then you prepare answers to them for tutorials to discuss so that's like some examples so yeah and now this is an example of um so this is actually one of the exams i did it's like a writing assignment and it, it didn't it only contributed to 15% of my grade but um i think i did pretty well in this one so there's just the instructions oh wait no, no yeah now this is the actual question so we had to answer all these questions you can obviously pause it so this is the lecture an example of a lecture um the asynchronous stuff so before we even went to the lecture we had to look at these slides and then learn alongside some videos she published some videos she published it's like examples which helped a lot for me now this is an actual live session obviously this is online And this is an example of a coursework assessment. Now, in maths, um, this was the lecture, but it's the notes are basically a summary of his textbook because we use his textbook. Tutorials were usually questions that came from the textbook and I have linked the textbook. And this is just an example of a specimen exam. Lecture 
fracture slide again, falling up from asynchronous. He builds upon A level stats. An example of an assignment, so again, preparation for tutorial, and then you discuss the answers in your tutorial. In 2019, final paper. Obviously, this isn't one paper is not 100% of your grade for this module or any of the modules I've shown you so far. What we had was a multiple choice exam, so we had to do it online. This was obviously paper made in 2019, so in person they would have done this. These are the modules I did in my second year, the compulsory ones. So this is the pre-recorded stuff that we watch, like read and watch before the actual lecture. Um, you can see it's a lot, a lot of things. Um, and usually in the lecture, she, uh, like our lecturer, picks up on some significant points from the asynchronous stuff, but then moves on to more like the applications of it. Um, to like theory, they don't really like to. They say that they don't want to repeat things that you've already gone over yourself in the lectures. Um, personally, I disagree with that, but yeah, what can I say? Live lecture, so you can see that um, she does point to, to articles to show what we're learning is, you know, something that is present in real life. Um, but sometimes it does. I understand that sometimes some of the theory does look really un like <laughs> like this. It just doesn't not not look. It just looks really abstract. Um, but yeah, like these graphs. It's very different to A level econ guys. <laughs> An example of tutorial questions. Um, we do. So it depends on which kind of lecture you have. The coursework exam, so you have to answer all these questions as you can see, it's quite self-explanatory. Now this is micro, I really enjoyed micro term one, it was like some of it did look complicated, but like it was very understandable for me. And what I liked is, for example, this is the asynchronous stuff, and you can see that it builds. The slides are like they build upon each other. There's no huge gaps between them, so you can you can understand how he goes from one like slide, one step from the model to the no to another. So this is a term two notes. Thought you just get like a C difference in how the different lecturers are. And then this is an example of a problem set. So again, preparation for a tutorial. Um, these are the kind of questions we do. And now this is a sample assessment for an exam. Uh, live lecture, slides. Yeah, they show the code as well. We use starter, starter, starter a lot uh, for modeling. Now this is an example of a tutorial. They don't really teach you how to use starter. Again, you need to kind of figure that how to do that yourself.
the final exam and the red stuff is just the answers i feel like it's much more easier i feel like i feel like i'm making it more complicated for myself when i think of this module but so then again it looks so like, i don't know indecipherable find that found that useful and very informative if you have any questions let me know and if you find it useful as well please indicate that um, all the best for exams and everything in general and if there are certain videos you want me to do please let me know <sighs> thank you thank you very much and have a great day